Hey guys, this is Chris with Half Chrome. Today we are going to do a thrust test of the DJI Mavic Air. Okay, so if you haven't seen one of our thrust tests before, we got a whole video all about it, but let me give you a quick rundown. The idea is, mount the drone here, it pulls up, obviously that's what it wants to do, it pivots, this whole thing pivots like a seesaw, as you can see, about a point here, the fulcrum, and it pushes down on a scale here. Now the distances are the same, they're identical, so any force it puts here, that this lifts up with, you're going to see on the scale. Now I need a little extra weight here, otherwise the drone just falls down like that. But we can get rid of any bias in there just by simply zeroing out the scale. We videotape uh, the scale, that's our uh, goofy kind of data collection method. Go through the video, pull out the highest number, and that's how much thrust this can generate. Why do you care how much thrust a drone can produce? There's a couple reasons. One is you may want to give it some payload. Probably not a lot of people trying to do that with the Mavic Air. Uh, however, we put this guy, 360 camera, this happens to be the LG 360 cam, on several drones. It's pretty cool what you can get out of it. We even put it on the little Spark. Certainly we're sure this guy can carry it. Uh, we've got people carrying all kinds of things on drones. So thrust goes a lot to how much, uh, how maneuverable a drone is and how fast it can be. We've measured the Mavic Pro, we've measured uh, the Spark, we've measured various Phantom drones. Now it's time to measure this guy, see how it compares. Just to give you some other, uh, some idea how these do, uh, the, the DJI products tend to be around a thrust to weight ratio of two. What does that mean? The drone weighs uh, whatever it weighs in the 400s, it's going to produce roughly twice that much. That's what we think at least. That's what they've done historically. We're going to find out. Uh, just to give you some sense, racing drone like this guy, this one happens to be our most powerful on a 4 cell battery. 4S, this guy will do six times its own weight in, uh, in thrust. So quite a bit different uh, deal, but it's trying to do something very different. Uh, this is a racing machine. This is a uh, photography machine for a consumer. So let's uh, let's test it out. All right, let's do this. All right, so let's talk about how the Mavic Air did. How much force did it generate? According to the scale, it pulled in 927 grams of force. That's an excess of 500 grams over the weight of the drone or a thrust to weight ratio of 2.15, 2.16. So almost 2.2. Now that comes in short actually of the Mavic and the Phantom drones which are around 2.5. So 2.2 versus 2.5 on the Mavic Pro Mavic Platinum. So, um, coming in a little lower, a little bit surprising. So how does this thing fly faster in sport mode? Um, not quite sure, maybe it's more aerodynamic. I think they just kind of tune it up to allow for a steeper angle, faster speeds. Uh, but we'll see, overall it means maybe a little bit less stable in the wind. So we're going to find out, time will tell. But, curious minds want to know, it isn't as powerful thrust to weight ratio as a Mavic Pro. That's kind of interesting, but it does come in above the Spark, which we measured around 1.9. So more than the Spark, less than the Mavic Pro, not all that surprising, but what is surprising is how fast this can fly. So we're gonna have some more tests and more videos coming up. Make sure you subscribe and check those out. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Have Chrome Drones.